Okay, welcome to part two, installing the wiring loom on the Mockingbird. Okay, we're looking at the back of the guitar at the moment, and this is the cavity where the three-way switch will be housed. And there's a pre-drilled hole we're able to poke these wires through. These are the wires that are connected to the three-way switch we soldered together earlier and they come through to the cavity which houses the uh, neck pickup. Now just pulling those wires through but what we're going to do is we're going to pull that three-way switch out just enough so it hangs out to the side of the body. This is because um, we need to turn the guitar onto its front again and we need to work in the cavity on the back and we don't want that switch to get damaged while it's sitting on its front so just there's there's lots of length on these wires so um, you can still do the entire soldering job and um, you'll be fine okay so again here we are poking those wires between the cavity for the neck pickup and the cavity for the bridge pickup this is the neck pickup that has the yellow wire Snip off the end if it has any loose um, wire poking out like the shield because if you've got a nice clean cut it's going to be a lot easier to poke through those holes. Same with the bridge pickup, the one with the red wire. Snip off the end if it's got any loose wire hanging out. It just makes it a lot easier to poke through these holes um, now that there's a lot of wires going through them. Especially this last one we're going to poke it through. Now notice that the the pickups, the, the one at the top, which is the neck pickup, the adjusting screws are lined at the top and the bridge pickup, the adjusting screws are aligned at the bottom and that's the way they're going to go and sit in their cavities. So the way they're sitting now is the way they're going to sit once they're um, screwed into place. Now we are going to screw these into place now straight after we've finished poking all these wires through. They're being poked through by the way to the cavity at the back of the guitar where the volume and tone pots are going to be worked on in just a minute. Right, so screw, the, screw these pickups into place because again we're going to be turning the guitar over and if they're not screwed into place they're likely to fall out and flop all over the place and generally um, get in the way and possibly something's going to get damaged. Uh, medium sized screws on this wood are very easy to screw in so you can this is so easy to do this by hand. Some jobs um, an electric drill helps but most of the time a little screwdriver is quite easy to use. So that's just about it for this video. We'll flip this over now and just have a look at the back and you'll just see the wires have come through that cavity. Um, tune into part three and we'll look at doing all the soldering.